Hey crafters, today is the day. Today is the day that we are going to finish up Jasmine and pack this canvas up as it goes on its wonderful journey to Germany. So I wanted to show you what we have completed together in the amount of time that we've been working on this. As you can see, Ariel and Snow White are done, gorgeous and sparkly. You know, I don't have the best light in here, but just wanted to show that off a bit. And Jasmine is almost done. So let's go ahead and get started on our drill with me. Okay, crafters, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in by starting to work on this diamond symbol. You've seen it quite a bit on the Jasmine canvas. That is gonna be DMC 921 with a little diamond. And I feel like I've got great light right now, so. I do. What you see on the tray is exactly what I see in person. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And wow, I have so much to go over. This, can't find my pink wax. Not a good start. Seriously, where did I put my pink wax? Okay, I can't find my diamond dots wax, but I did just find a random pink wax and I'm gonna get started and use that. I really need to make sure that I find the pink wax because the baby now likes playing with the wax. I just need to make sure I'm not gonna find it like mashed up in a stuffed animal or something, which would be oh so fun. So wow, guys, so, so much. For this drill with me, I'm gonna do as much as I can right now, but I do think I'm gonna have to cut this in half and I'll put it all together as one video. But I have about 15 minutes right now that I can sit down and drill and then I'm going to finish the rest in the evening and that's going to be interesting for me because I've never done a drill with me that I've filmed at night so I'm going to try and get really fancy and set up some good lighting to make sure everything still works out well but it will be cut into two different two different times through this day and then I'm just going to add it all together for one uploaded video. But yeah, announcements. Down below will be the night sky canvas that I plan on working on next. Um, I've seen that it doesn't have the best reviews because it is a small canvas. It, if it was made larger and there was more detail, I think that would have been better for the manufacturers of the canvas, but I love all of the blue and purple purple drills that are with it. And my girls really like blue and purple. So no matter what it looks like when I'm done, I think the kids are gonna adore it and I'm looking forward to doing it. It's a small canvas, so I'll be able to do it quickly and just be able to still do this craft that I love while I'm out and about this summer as we move around the United States on vacation. And, oh, a few more diamonds up here. And we're gonna be done with the diamonds. I think that's it. But you know me, I'll find one while I'm working and have to come back to it. What's next? You know I like working from the outside in, so, oh, hit the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and do F. Another announcement. Um, so this princess canvas for about two days, maybe longer and I just missed it, but for about two days, this canvas was actually on sale on Amazon. F is going to be DMC 721. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. And this is a darker orange. Get it nice and lined up on my tray. And yeah, what you see, I see. So as of filming this video this morning, the canvas is no longer on sale. It is back at $44, but the fact it was on sale is a great sign because it shows it'll be on sale again. And as soon as I see any changes to the price, I will let you guys know as soon as possible. If you are interested in this canvas, go ahead and keep 
checking Amazon every few days and hopefully it'll go back down again. Oh, didn't do the best job at that. Look, I want to, they have four. My three spacer just became four. Let's see how well I can do that. Hey, not that bad. So that's all of my announcements right now. After I finish this today, I'm gonna do another video and put the canvas into the bag and get it all wrapped up, all ready for moving. But get this, you know I've been telling you that with the move, I'm going to put this in a plastic bin, wrap it up, that way the movers are not the ones who are handling this, that way I can have it wrapped up for, for shipping and moving how I wanted it. Well, I've been to store after store after store here in Tunisia, and I cannot find a plastic bin long enough for this canvas. Even as of yesterday, I went to Carrefour one last time, searched the whole place, and bought the largest plastic bin that they have, and it still is too small. And in order for this canvas to fit any of the options I have, I would have to bend it. And that is not an option. So, gonna get creative and I'm actually gonna use a piece of luggage and store this canvas in it, wrap it all up, see if I can find some bubble wrap, tape it up and send it off that way. Because I really wanna make sure that this canvas is not damaged in any way, smushed, put in a box. I know they're not gonna have um, shipping tubes and I will be heartbroken if after all of this, the move is what bends and gets wrinkles in this canvas. So, you guys can watch with me, as silly as it will be, as I have a piece of luggage that I'm not gonna take with me to the United States and I'm gonna wrap this canvas up in it. and. Hope for the best. Again, I'm gonna need all of you to help me and hope for the best. But um, that's gonna be what, what I'm gonna do in one of the next videos to pop up. But yeah, it, it's here. The move is here. Um, it's a little over 48 hours before I leave for the airport. So I am filming this right now, Wednesday afternoon. Oh, I said Wednesday. This is how crazy I am right now. I am filming this Friday, Friday afternoon, and I'm probably going to have to finish up on Friday evening, but I leave for the airport Sunday night, so I really cut it close with, with Jasmine. I've just had a hard time sitting down where I could do a longer drill with me to finish her, and then today I just was talking to myself that I'll just cut this into two because I'd rather finish her and do a few minutes here, a few minutes there, than keep pushing it off and wait until the last minute. So after all the work we've done on the canvas, this is all that's left. And we'll have three princesses done. And even though it's seemed like a long time, keep in mind, I'm a really slow driller. So we've actually completed this pretty quickly. And I think that's all of the F's. Yes, I believe so. I'm gonna put the F up and we're gonna do this H and I'm gonna make sure I get pink wax for my H. Um, good to go in my three spacer because with this much H in one spot, we're gonna need that. Let's see, let's see. I have so much to talk to you about and I know this is gonna be a shorter video and I need to just Oh no, oh no, I just put F in the wrong container. Ugh. Okay, let me figure this out. Okay, so I just put F, they're right next to each other, in the H container because I was talking about that. <gasps> okay, triage, let's figure out what we can do here. Okay, okay, that's not that bad. Um, okay, not that bad, not gonna freak out. I can tell the difference in the two because obviously F is darker, correct? 
Let's just open all of these up. Yeah, okay. So F is darker, H is lighter, and you can see in this one is where I mixed them up. I didn't actually mix it up with that much. Okay, that's not that bad. Chalk it up to not being on the ball today. And here we go. This is how I'm gonna fix it. That's now F and H in there. And I'll just remind myself what to do with that. Oh my goodness, guys. What am I doing? Let me put H, the correct drill, in here. H is 742, 722, yeah. 722. And here it is on the tray. A lighter orange, but when I'm working with F and H, I'll be able to tell the difference. I mean, whatever, it happens to the best of us, right? I'm gonna make a note on my kind of work space so I do not forget and possibly mix them together. I'm gonna add, make sure I've got some good wax in my three spacer. We're gonna get started. Here we go, here we go. Okay. So, all the different stuff to talk to you about. I've been so busy this week saying goodbye to friends, which has been really difficult and doing a lot more crying than I thought I would when you say goodbye to your friends um, in the full impact of we're leaving this place. And I know I've talked to you about it before, but we're just a few days out like, to the point where we can count hours. And it's just, this is where my children grew up and this is their home and it's time to move on. And in a few weeks, you know, another family is going to move into this house and the cycle is going to keep going and we're going to head to Germany and start some new really great adventures. And I'm sure when I get there, it's going to feel a lot less sad about leaving. But these few, last few days have been really difficult. Um, I've gotten some really great comments from you guys. And I really want to say thank you because the support and everybody saying that they, they hope we have a good trip and... I really appreciate it. It's, you know, when I'm having kind of a sad moment and I'm thinking about leaving and then I see um, an email pops up that I had a comment and somebody says something really nice, it it just uh, really brightens my day and brightens me in that moment. And I appreciate it deeply, I deeply do. That, um, that actually leads me to, uh, I did a giveaway and I realized I didn't really talk about it very much leading up to it but I did a giveaway of little goodies that I got from Ireland and I picked the winners out and that was a lot of fun. I'm excited about that. And I've been collecting some items from Tunisia for another giveaway and that'll be in May. So I'm looking forward to that one. I gotta get back to the States first so I can have some fast shipping and send out the first stuff before I can get started on the second. Gonna line my tray up a little better so I can use my three spacer. I'm also, um, as it's our last here, we've been doing a lot of really fun stuff and just trying to enjoy the beauty of Tunisia. I think I mentioned in the last video, I'm not sure if I did, we went to the Punic port here, which is the port from way back when, um, and it's, a gorgeous, gorgeous sight. And I say way back when, I really mean like during the Punic period and the days of ancient Carthage. And it fascinates me that we walk around here and we get to live here and experience these things every day. It's such a calm, beautiful place. And you know, the original port was completely destroyed and you walk around there and just kind of think of what it looked like thousands of years of more than a thousand years ago 2,000 years ago I'm not even in the right frame to do the math of how long ago it was but we we walked around there and it was really beautiful and we had a really nice time and then um, like we've been trying to go out and we went to the Tunis Medina one last time, just kind of 
walked through the streets, looked in the little shops, and had a had a nice afternoon with that. And we you know we had a holiday this week. It was the Tunisian Martyrs Day, recognizing those that gave their lives in the war for independence. And we went out to a restaurant that morning for breakfast. And it's this really great restaurant. It has a park right next to it. So it's very kid friendly and you're able to eat and the kids can run around and play. And there's always a lot of other kids there. So it's a really fun place. And we got a absolutely delicious breakfast. I'll even post a picture of it. I like that restaurant so much. It's called Punic Art here in Carthage. And it's just, uh, I love it. It's this massive meal just for like $6 right on the water. You're looking at the beautiful Mediterranean. Or uh, I'll have to double check. I'm not sure if that's the Mediterranean or the Bay of Tunis. But it's beautiful blue water. Your kids are running around. And the realization that, oh, we're not going to be doing this next week. And I'm going to miss it. Ah, it all comes back to the move, doesn't it? I'm sorry. I don't want to keep talking your ear off about it. But it's such a huge moment in our lives right now. Oh. Uh oh, Let's check this out. I think this is the fourth one that I've had of this. It's a uh, blank spot in the canvas. And there's glue on there. I don't know if I'm supposed to leave a blank or what because there would be a white symbol if a white drill was supposed to go there. But I might just put a white drill there, that way it's not empty. Um, I've heard that one of my orders from the AliExpress sale has arrived to the United States. And when I get back, one of the first things I'm going to be doing is opening that up and checking it out. Really looking forward to it. I'm hoping my home fun item arrives soon because I'm really looking forward to that. That's another big canvas. I think I got 70 by 90. So that's going to be huge. Mm. And it's almost coming to the point where I need to get going. But I had two other things I wanted to talk about. One of them is I am so obsessed with knitting a sweater right now. And I know that's completely out there and mentioning this while I'm diamond painting, but I told you my first love, my first crafting love was knitting. And Marley Bird is doing a red heart yarn knit along for knitting your first sweater. And she's posting her videos on YouTube. And I guess I can, I can link it down below. But I, oh, I so want to do this. I want to go back to the United States, buy the suggested yarn, and knit a sweater. I mean, it's it's going to be April and May, and I'm going to be in the United States knitting a sweater as it's getting hotter and hotter. But I'm really into this project right now. I'm going to knit it down below, and I might even, um, once I get the yarn, do some knitting videos. And if you're a knitter as well, check it out. It looks really cool. I have one other topic. I have more I can get to, but why am I covering Jasmine? Don't cover Jasmine. Actually, let me try and finish all of these H's, and then I'm gonna cut off and resume later tonight. Um, yeah, so the other topic. Another reason I've been busy is I've been getting some dental work done before leaving Tunisia. So, that's taken up a few of my days. Even today, like right before I filmed this video, I was at the dentist's office, left the dentist's office, came home. Um, now I'm filming this video. And uh, I started on Wednesday. I saw the dentist on Wednesday and she, um, we're doing a cleaning. And what actually brought me in there is a cracked tooth. And this sucks. So let me tell you, I was eating a Tunisian sweet and it had some nuts in it, but one of the nuts was still either like really hard or still in its shell. And I bit down and it cracked my tooth. So I went in for a cleaning and also saying, I have a cracked tooth, do you think you could fix it? And she's like, well, I'm, I might be able to, but you should, you know, with, with your timing, I don't know. Can you get, you know, do you wanna get this done in the US? And I was like, I'd really prefer to get it done here if possible. Why is this 
That one's just moving too much. I'm gonna take this off. And she's like, okay, and she was able to fit me in for a second day. But, um, yeah, that feels really gooey in there. Probably too much pink wax. Let me work on this a bit, because I got pink wax next to here. Uh, there we go, that was a lot. So she fit me in, and I was really thankful for that, but that was, you know, just like two long days. Oh, it's not even, what's going on? There we go, that's not good. I don't know why it's doing that. Not even, um, or two long days. Okay, what's going on? Come on. Yeah, you are not sticky. Not Oh, not sticky at all. That spot doesn't have any stick on it. And I do not have any glue. My glue is packed. Maybe I can track down some glue over the next day. Maybe that's enough. Okay. What do you guys do in this situation? You put glue on it? Tell me. Let me know. Maybe I can get it a little sticky. Okay. We're gonna hope for the best there. I do not have any glue. All the glue I have would be completely packed. I don't have any double-sided tape at this moment. Let me double check, okay. I'll come back to that. Yeah, note to self, guys, in a few months when I come back to this painting and check on that. Okay, well, it's, it's in there now. It's doing pretty good. Anyways, I was also talking to her, um, trying to figure out, like, the appointments. And and um, so just a little bit to understand. I've talked to you about how um, living expenses in Tunisia are very affordable. So I got a lot of dental work done this week. I got a full cleaning. And I got a cracked tooth fixed. And the cracked tooth actually has part of a crown that was damaged from the bite. And it was 450 Tunisian dinar. 450 Tunisian dinar is 150 US dollars. And I don't know how much it would cost me in the United States, but that seems like a really, really good deal because I think the last time I went just for a cleaning in the US, it was over $100. So this was a cleaning, fixed, cracked, Tooth, fixed crown, break, all that. So I'm really glad that I was able to get it done here instead of um, having to do dental work like on vacation in the US. That wouldn't be fun. Plus at this point being over overseas, I don't really have a dentist that I've regularly seen in the US. But I'm gonna go ahead, finish this H and then take the break. And we'll catch back up at the um, in the evening. I feel like all my pink wax is just falling out of my pen right now. Yeah, I think the, I think the pink wax coming out on the canvas, I think that was the problem with that drill that got stuck or wouldn't stick. My goodness, we have a drill that wouldn't stick. We have me mixing colors up. What a day. What a diamond painting day. Okay. There we go, guys. By the time you watch this next part of the video or next part of the video will be done in the evening. So I will talk to you guys in just a moment. Hey guys, welcome back. It is now officially my first nighttime drill with me. I tried to make sure that the light looked pretty good in here, not too many shadows, it is kind of dark, but one thing that I am really picking up on and loving is in the little bit of dull light that I have in this room, I am seeing the sparkles like crazy in this canvas. I am in love with it. Another thing from earlier, so this piece got really stuck on there. It's, it's in there. No more, no more problems. I tried to 
check with my pen and if I think it's good. I think it just needed a little bit of time to settle. I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'm just gonna do the white 5200 pure, like just plain white. And I'm gonna work the few spots that this has on this canvas. And I was, ta I was talking earlier about how busy my day has been and then I cut the camera off. I told you I had some stuff we had to do and wow, it's, I mean, it's been four and a half hours since the earlier part of this drill with me and that four and a half hours was just packed. I, um, I cut the video off and then I got uh, all the kids ready and we went to the embassy and I had my very last time at the embassy. Oh, that went pretty quick. Done with the 5200. And let's move on while I keep talking. I'm gonna put these drills in and let's do oh one more right up here. Put those drills in, and then I'm gonna move to the flower symbol because I have a lot of that one. And my flower symbol. Oh. I wanna try and make sure I keep the light pretty good because it can get pretty dark on this side, just the slightest bit of moving. So my flower symbol, it's one of the things that I kept in a piece of Tupperware and that is 3824. I wanna make sure that I write that down. 3824, put it in my tray. And it looks like I need a bit of this, so. Put a good amount in there. Here is going to be the real test of my light. The drills, well, the drills in the dark look pretty good. The light from the camera looks like it might be making them actually a bit lighter than usual. Usually my drills are darker, but that looks good. Oh my gosh, I might be able to do more evening drill with me's if I'm gonna be able to work this lighting out. But I don't know. I don't know if an evening drill with me is gonna be all that great because for real talk, it is maybe 8 p.m. and I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. But back to what I was talking about. So I loaded all the kids in the car and we went to the embassy for our last time. The very last, last time that I'm going to set foot in the Tunisian embassy here and it was a little emotional. I teared up and I was telling myself, I'm like, it's okay. It's okay if you cry. This is a moment. This is a final chapter, but let's just try and keep it, keep it together. Like, let's not just ball your eyes out here. And I, I did pretty good. I did tear up saying goodbye to people, saying goodbye to friends that you just don't know the next time you're gonna be able to see each other in person and of course it's amazing that you can always stay in contact through email and the internet with people and that really helps but it was just sad doing a lot of hugs and the kids were really adorable because everybody that they passed everybody every and I mean every single person they would start to say like goodbye we're going to the United States goodbye, we're going to the United States. And that was so cute. It was really, really cute because I'm just trying to keep it together that way. Uh, I'm not bawling my eyes out in front of them, but they're just taking this in such a really positive manner of, yeah, we're leaving, but we'll come back. And they were even saying like, we'll come back to Tunisia when when we're big kids. We'll come back as big kids and we're, we'll, we'll, we'll see each other again. And their positivity was like really helping me stay upbeat. And then we went out to dinner. All of us went out to dinner. Rest, uh, actually an Indian food restaurant that I really like. And we had, you know, just a um, pretty nice, uh, actually, kind of a standard dinner for us in the sense that the kids were like wanting to bounce all in their chairs. And the baby, so the baby has now picked up on some table manner tricks. Um, this restaurant had a, uh, they had a tablecloth 
and what they, uh, the baby would pull on the tablecloth and it would cause like all the plates and the cups to kind of move a few inches and uh, he was just loving that and giggling and I'm just like oh gosh no like trying to make sure like all of our drinks don't spill all over the place but you know typical kind of dinner out when you've got three kids and I've got just a few more of these oh what am I doing a few more of these flowers left on her shoulder I mean with the light the a light above you can really see the sparkle I think I think this is gorgeous now I did you know this is a heartful diamonds canvas and I don't have many uh, many trash drills at all with this and you can see the quality of the drills are pretty pretty good I have had and I'm not even I'm not gonna name them but I have seen some bad drills before and I'm thankful that that is not the case with them I don't even keep a um, like a junk drill thing not not with them mm -mm. there's just so few of them actually so I pointed out this empty space earlier what I think I'm gonna do is since the background is white, there's just no color there. There's not a symbol for the 5200, but I think I am going to put a 5200 drill in there. Kind of straighten these drills out. Do a few more. Oh, perfect. Uh, up top on her face, but yeah, oof, I am exhausted. Do these nighttime drill with me's. They would be very short because I'm just so tired these days. Um, oh, sorry, I hit the plastic. It's hard to believe. I should have looked up the date that I started this canvas because it feels like it was not that long ago. And already we've crafted three princesses together. That's pretty great. Oh, didn't do that one well. That did not pop in there smoothly. I think that's our last little flower one. I'm gonna go ahead and start on R. So we have R, X, four, and the seven, the blue seven for her eye. Let's see, so we'll do, I just messed up again, guys. I did it again. I just put all of these into the R. I just put all of those little, um, all those flower symbols into the R. I just keep making this mistake. It's not the second time today. And let's see. Wow, that's really close. Okay, I can tell the difference between the two of these, but that is a close one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna get a plastic baggie for these. Actually, no, right here. I need to get some tape. I'll put some tape here and it'll say R and flower sign. And then I think the, um, the flower sign will be the slightly darker one because I, I need to write that down because I know I won't remember it when, um, when I get to Germany. Oh, and it looks like I didn't pour enough of the R out because, let me show you, I've got a few dark ones still in there. Okay, so I'm just going to have to be very, very cautious as I go through right now and do 
are, and make sure I hit the lighter ones. Oh, but as I'm talking, so R is DMC 754, and you can see it pretty well on the tray. I'm actually, I'm getting better light at night than I do during the day, but those darker symbols are the flower ones that I messed up with. And I'm just gonna do my best. There's not that many that I mixed in here, but I'm gonna do my best to um, avoid putting the wrong drill on the wrong spot. There we go. Let's check it out. Except for her eye, her face is totally done. Jasmine looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this spot in and after I do the X and the four, I'll pull back and we can see how it looks all together. I'm gonna try and quickly do my three spacer with this, but I feel like I've just got too much wax in my three spacer and that's actually a bad thing. Too much wax, it's not staying in there pretty well. And let me straighten these lines up better. There we go. And when they're straightened out, I can get a better view of which ones are R and which ones are the flower. And I like the three spacer, but I'm just not that great lining them up with my previous drills. There we go. Go, here's three more. I do not have the time or the patience right now to separate these out. I've done this before. I mean, today you've seen in this video, I've done it twice. And when I've, when I've done it, I've actually spent the time to separate them. But right now, I just don't have it. So I'm gonna leave a note to myself that this is two drills mixed together. There we go. Oh, bump the camera, sorry guys. Okay, I'm gonna do her necklace right here, which will be an X color. I'm gonna put these drills up. X is going to be DMC 919 and there's so few of them I'm actually just gonna pick them out but that's what it looks like in the tray Wow, I'm getting better light right now than I do during the day I don't know I'm too sleepy to do nighttime stuff but that looks so weird that one I just placed look at that sparkle that one looks great too. Few more. Here we go. And I'm actually gonna go in a little bit closer on her face as we do these last few drills. get fours. I think the four in this canvas is actually 304 and it's a very beautiful red. There's so few I'm just gonna pick it out. Oh. I don't know if that's coming across on the camera or not but prayer just started here the call to prayer. So all the dogs in the neighborhood are barking and it sounds pretty loud. Wow, oh, is that like two drills stuck together like a circle? There we go. Let me hold these. I'm not picking them out well. I need to see better. There you go.
Oh, one more. Well, those don't have as, there's, a, there's one that's a little sparkly. I was about to say, it doesn't have as much sparkle as the other one. And our very last drill, 597 for Jasmine's eye. Here we go. Gorgeous. Jasmine is done. So we did 597 and we did 304 and we did 919. Okay, I'm going to take the camera off the stand so you can see all of Jasmine complete. So bear with me, there's gonna be a little bit of a sound. There we go. There she is. Jasmine looks great. She might be one of my favorites so far because even though we had a lot of the orange and yellow sections throughout, she also had every single color. Green, blue, purple, pink, white, different shades of blue for her hair. Really, really, really great canvas. So thank you for crafting with me, guys. Thanks for working on Jasmine. I hope you were able to get a lot done during this drill with me. And check out the next video that I end up putting up maybe in the next day or two because I'm going to show you how I pack all this up for shipping. Talk to you soon. Bye, crafters.